No fewer than 24,000 dropout children in the Northeast were captured in 2014 in the Feed and Read program. It's initiated by the American University of Nigeria in the height of the Boko Haram insurgency. The institution has relaunched the program with 100 vulnerable children, including al Majiris, in view of providing literacy skills to the victims of insurgency, particularly out-of-school children. At the launch of the program and inauguration of the Global Center for Out-of-School Children, the AUN aims to eradicate out-of-school phenomenon globally. President of the American University of Nigeria, Yula, Dr. Maggie Ensign, said the first phase of the Feed and Read programs targeted over 24,000 Almajiri kids. She added that the success recorded from the first homegrown initiative is why the initiative now seeks the same outcomes that every out-of-school child in any part of the world is able to read and do basic maths. For us to understand, for us to, de to develop solutions that may be technologically based, as Dean Falcom and Dean Jacob knows, to reach eight, 18 million children in, in Nigeria is not just in school. It means using technology wisely, and that's what we do at AU, and that's what we did during the insurrection when we taught all those young children with um, radio programs that were written by our students and our wonderful faculty. So we really believe at AU, and we can do a bunch of things. We can take this on in the country. It's a program that touches humanity. When you see these children out there, you just think, they cannot amount to anything. But I'll tell you, you are wrong. From what we saw the first time, we had this feed and read, and what became of these children confirmed to us that you don't just write off anybody. Given an opportunity, you'll be shocked at what that child will turn out to be. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.